so hard to judge. It's like, is it plain? Has it finished? It's epic. Oh. <laughs> it's epic. Take it away, Beef. All right. Well, up here in the 11 o'clock position, playing the Red Zerg, we just saw him defeat a Terran Imposter. <laughs> Will he be able to do it again with the real thing we've got from UCAP Esports? He's J Power. And in the 9 o'clock position, we do have the pink Terran player who's actually called Terran. Oh, wait, isn't that the other way around? The pink Terran. The, oh, my God, no. The pink player called Terran who's actually a Terran. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it after three attempts. There you go. So, getting into a Zerg versus Terran here on uh, Metropolis. I got to say that this map as a Zerg. We didn't get to play it too much in ladder, but I back when I was actually playing a decent amount of StarCraft 2, I actually practiced on this um, in public games quite a bit, and one of my favorite maps to play on is a Zerg. What about you as a Terran? What are your thoughts? Um, well, you know, Metropolis, it's like one of them maps which is very, very large, and it's so easy to defend on as well because you've got these narrow chokes into your opponent's side of the map or into your own side of the map as well and so if you don't two racks on this map which is it's a good map for two racks on as well because you can put both your racks in the middle and it's a similar distance to whichever spawn location your opponent can spawn in if you don't two racks you've got to expect to probably end up going into a long game here and we've seen so we see so so many games on this map which just go to that extreme late game I mean you don't even have to mention MVP Squirtle the GSL finals with that massive uh, Archon toilet against the Battle Cruisers and I was it I think it was MVP Nesty on this map as well in an IEM I am, uh, yep. might have even been the world championships uh, the world or the finals of the series whatever they called it At, uh, uh, yeah I think it was like last year yeah yeah alone yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, that, that that was the one. You're right, and yeah, you just see them kind of games on this map all the time because of how easy it is to hold on to the late game. Another good one was uh, Tasia versus Nesty at the IPTL finals in San Francisco about uh, five or six months ago. That was another incredible match where. Uh, I think that was not the ace match, but that was like pretty deep into the series. And uh, Tasia versus Nesty, he just kept on building command centers. He literally just never stopped building yes. command centers. I remember that. That was, uh, yeah, I know exactly what game you're on about. And it's just like, everyone was just like, well, this is Tasia Micro. And it, like, they went to the fifth base, and it was just like, the whole floor was just covered in like command centers. We had like 26 that was command crazy. centers at the end. Yeah. And that was when Tasia was on a roll in uh, IPTL. Yeah. That was, that was actually crazy. And then Seed killed him. That's so sad. <laughs> that was that was an epic game at the end too. Like it's like, well, Tasia's dead. Just kidding. Nope. See, <laughs> is alive. Like what? What is what is going? On? That was an incredible series. But back into the game that we have going on right here, we have an early Roach Horn coming out right now out of our Zerg player, yeah. dropping that at about four thirty. Now this enables you to actually defend against uh, seven minute pressures coming out of a Terran. This of course is pure marine pressure. Or early four hellion plus mar marine pressure. Yeah, and interesting enough, look at this. Terran's actually going for so many barracks right now, and I'm not sure what J Power actually saw. He, he hasn't actually seen any of this, but he's got these seven roaches up, and that's actually going to be, or eight roaches now on the way. That's going to be such a hard counter to what Terran's trying to do here, because Terran is playing gasless. He's not teching at all. He's relying on going with all of these marines in the very near future. And just punishing exactly who's already got a third base up and they've got three queens for defense. But that's not going to be able to happen because, well, it's actually going to be J Power. He's going to move across the map and be the player who's going to get aggressive. I actually completely agree with this from J Power. With good micro, these roaches should decimate any number of marines um, that are outside of bunkers. They are not going to be able to push through this bunker wall, though. Not with this many marines and not with uh, two cents of bunkers. Well,. They shouldn't be able to. If SCVs are pulled to repair, they should not be able to. I love this build out of our Zerg player right now, uh, not taking any risks. And I also I, I want to actually point out here that Terran, uh, he should be okay. He's going to be able to, he's going to have to pull some SCVs to repair as these supply depots will go down. Um, yep. One Roach going down as well, though. He doesn't really have to fear anything, and our Zerg player can get pretty greedy behind this. 
I've got to commend Terran actually at the beginning as well. Just as this little two supply depot wall, he lowered the supply depot intentionally to let the drone in and immediately killed the drone with two SCVs. Like, immediately. It was beautiful to watch. Wow, I uh, actually missed that. He's going to end up losing his uh, supply depot just at the front end. You know, J-Power, he's already kind of done enough damage to make this worthwhile. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's considering he's not exactly up against a free command center build, he didn't need to be overdo like he didn't need to end the game with this push. He didn't need to do game ending damage at all. And in fact, behind this, he has teched up. He's droned up. He's got a seven worker lead, and he's still continuing to drone, continuing to drone while taking his spire now with his four gases down, and he'll be taking his third base very soon. And I mean, yeah, he picked off what two supply demons picked off a marine. He picked off three workers as well. So. Considering he's not up against an extremely greedy build, that's completely fine. And now he can just go back home, defend, and wait until he starts getting his meters out to continue some more harassment. Yep, he's going to be able to take this hatchery, use those roaches that he has left over, a total of seven of them, to knock down the destructible debris, start his creep sword, which he's kind of lacking on right now. In fact, completely lacking on. And so I've loved everything out of J Power's build so far. I need to see some creep coming out of him, though. Um, pretty yeah, soon. I'm that that's like the one real disadvantage that he's got from this build because because he invested in the roaches obviously he didn't invest in the early four queens which we see so so much so j power sure he's got his third base coming up he's got his tech up and he did he's even in the game but he doesn't have that creep spread that you would all that you would usually have and you know that's something you've got to take into consideration here as a disadvantage so all all the praise we were giving him it does have a couple of these drawbacks that we maybe did overlook slightly momentarily. Yeah, but he's had his gases down for about four minutes now, all four of them. With that, able to produce a total of six mutilists right away. Going to be able to get that uh, flyer attack as well, so going for more of, of the harass build with mutilists, not looking to ever actually engage with marines. Them up marines are going to shred most of your mutilists anyway, but if you do get that plus one carapace upgrade, they become a little bit stronger. And I really like Mutalisks here on the map. The uh, main specifically here from Terran is very, very vulnerable to this Mutalisk harassment. Um, but there's also a pretty damn high number of Marines, stim about halfway done, that could come in to actually try to thwart this pressure. And I like this from the Mutalisks. Come right on in, try to snipe as many SCVs as you can, getting into the gases. And every one of the SCVs now are no longer mining gas. I'm um, gonna try to hit the refinery a few more times. And because Stim is not finished up yet, these mules are continuing to do damage. Yeah, it takes these marines so long to go anywhere. And look at this, is Terran just going to go counterattack? Yes, he is. He says, cool, leave your mules here. I'm not quite sure about that, considering he took the time to <laughs> run all the way in his main, and then not actually kill the mules. But he, these mules, they've done uh, significant damage. I mean, they've picked off another eight workers. They've killed off a gas. They've denied gas mine. Now all he has to do is hold off from this attack from the Terran player. And Stim is about to finish up. Con Conquest of Shell Shells is about to finish up as well. Now, plus one, plus one is not going to finish up. It's not going to be the biggest of deals, but there's no medivax with this army. So Terran, he has one Stim to win the day. And Banelings are morphing in. Baneling speed already done here with Carapace. He needs to be careful that he's not get flanked by Banelings. And it's going to be really important to watch the positioning here. In just a moment, coming out of our Zerg player. A lot of damage being done, and here it comes. Bailey's going to connect on a ton of Marines right there and should be able to finish everything off with Zerglings and Roaches right here. J-Power in phenomenal position. Let's take a look at the damage that was done. Three workers were killed there. And uh, other than that, lost an Evolution Chamber that I believe wasn't even upgrading anything. And uh, just, I mean, that was a beautiful hold. Yeah. He got the bailing connections he needed, that's what he was relying on, and that's what he got, and Terran just, his, he looked like he was split okay at first, and then he just kind of clumped up as he moved into the natural, he, I think a kind of moment of like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm actually going to win this here, like, he's got nothing, uh, he just kind of forgot to split, and bailings are bailings, man, <laughs> that's all it takes. Bailings going to blow up in your face, kill all of your marines, and with this, our Zerg player has actually transitioned back into mutalisks he completely stopped mutalisk production in favor of drones and some spine crawlers but has since resumed mutalisk production 14 on the map three more on the way starting plus two flyer weapons going to go with that zergling baneling mutalisk composition even still retaining all seven of the roaches here on the ground and uh well j power just going to continue to macro up behind this the third finally going to be going down from our Terran, but it is blocked right now by a, 
uh, Zergling. Not burrowed, so uh, Ooh, well, there's the engagement Bobby. over here, and Baneling's gonna connect, and there is nothing but Marauders left on the wow. ground. J Power up, double J Power. His control is so good as well. As soon as he saw all the Marines dead, he just got his Banelings and pulled them back. He knew he didn't need to waste them, and these things running ahead of the army now. They're gonna. Well, actually, no, they're not. <laughs> there they go. Yeah, they're not even. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're still playing, actually. And just about. Able to kill all the Marauders. Milos come on in as well. They're going to turn and take down hell. And uh, Terran, hey, it's just a matter of time. J Power is looking dominant, man. He looks so solid in both of these, uh, both his ZVP and his ZVT matchups right now. Taking out Terran and Terran in a row here as Terran's just on his deathbed. Roach is at the third. The Mutas will be able to deny that as well. And well, some units are stimming out, but there's so many Banelings right now and some Lings coming in to support. And he's, all of this is just going to go into the natural right now. And Terran, it's going to be GG. That's it. GG comes out and J-Power takes his second.